Here we go with another two cases of LDL discordance. This patient is a 67-year-old male who has metabolic syndrome and a Framingham risk of 25%. The Framingham risk puts him at high risk and the metabolic syndrome in addition to that puts him at very high risk. He's on Simvastatin 40 milligrams each night, and Duracin, which is niacin, 500 milligrams twice a day, fish oil, 2,000 milligrams a day. He had a negative treadmill. And as we know, he could still have quite a bit of disease and the, the plaque can rupture. His LDL particle number, interestingly enough, is 1,032, but because he's a very high risk patient, I think we should definitely get his LDL particle number under 750. This is a case where the LDL calculated is 69, and again we see discordance here. Most people would have stopped with this LDL of 69 and felt comfortable. Indeed, Tim Russert had an LDL of 68. However, we see that in this very high-risk patient, we are not at goal on the LDL particle number, and we need to give him something more. He's already on simvastatin. I suggested that we could increase the simvastatin to 80 milligrams and make sure he takes it at night, but I would only suggest that if this is a patient who can't afford uh, something that's not generic or it works for the, or goes to the VA and that's all they will give him. I would prefer to switch him to Crestor 20 milligrams, but the patient wants to go on generic. I have a lot of concern about 80 milligrams of simvastatin. I think the risk for toxicity is great. Now on the next case we have a 73 year old male who had a positive nuclear stress test and a slightly low ejection fraction of 36 percent. He is on simvastatin 40 milligrams a day. Again the generic is nice in our neighborhood it's ten dollars for three months at Walmart. His LDL particle number actually looks pretty good at 977. Now this is very important because with an LDL of 90 we would have wanted to treat him further and going from 40 to 80 would have dropped him six percent on the simvastatin. However we see that he really is almost at goal here where he's 977 under a thousand. Thus we are saving the patient the risk of excess statin by getting the LDL particle number. His HDL is a little low at 44 so I would probably feel better to put this patient on endurosin 500 twice a day to get his particle number down. This would also raise his HDL.